on the other side. <laughs> and uh, I'm, uh, well, I'm with the advisor to Proton now and we want to do some research and we ask for some money. But, uh, <laughs> it, it took us a long time because the standard uh, uh, amount is $50 million for research in uh, uh, these uh, electric and hybrid cars. Uh, $50 million, not dollars, $50 million ringgit. Uh, by comparison to what uh, General Motors spent to produce the uh, their so-called uh, hybrid car, they spent three billion US dollar. So we are beginning to understand that it costs money to do research, and I hope that the government will fix a percentage of the national budget for research. Uh, maybe not three percent yet, but slowly working up to three percent then I think uh, we would be... Uh, but still, you can see with the uh, very stingy amount of money that we spend on research, we have uh, achieved quite a lot. I was very impressed with the products uh, that was uh, exhibited just now. And uh, you can see there is a great deal of professionalism in the design of the products. Uh, when you want to make a presentation, you cannot just uh, show how the thing works, but you have to uh, package it in a very nice package, which uh, indicates the level of uh, sophistication and understanding of the market uh, on the part of those who do research. And uh, I am now, as an advisor to Proton, we have vocation to uh, design cars. Uh, we, instead, we ask uh, an Italian company to design the car for us. We designed the e mass and the car was a beautiful car. They produced two cars which were which can actually be driven around, just two cars. Of course, it costs about $300 billion. But they did this by hand. So the, the Italians are very good in, in this because they have small family-owned companies which can uh, do